let's talk about the next move for the Pac-12. And like I said, you still have 10 teams. It did used to be called the Pac-10 before they added Utah and Colorado. Maybe they just keep Utah and Colorado and the teams that they've got, and they just try and maintain a 10-game. Because we saw the Big 12 do it forever. They were a 10-team league. You can play a round robin. Okay, maybe. But I don't think that's the way that this is going to go. Uh, If you're the Pac-12, you have to find a way to keep up with the Joneses. Like Maybe having less teams can get you a bigger piece of the pie, whatever that pie is, from ESPN or Fox or whoever. Whoever is willing to pay you, whether it's Apple TV or Amazon or whatever, the issue here, like, I, I would imagine they are going to have to do something because their two cash cows are gone. UCLA and USC and that entire LA market have disappeared now. So what do you do if you are this conference? So the first one that a lot of people on Twitter, et cetera, have started off with is, oh, you got to go add Boise. You got to go add... Uh, whoever, which by the way, if you're BYU, I mean, how sick are you today? Like it, you are much more aligned uh, geographically, et cetera, with the Pac-12 than you are the Big 12. And now they are set to start Big 12 play next year, and they can't get out of those rights right now. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be shocked if they tried to find a way to, but, you know, I, I also wonder if the Big 12 had their way, would they rather have some of those Pac-12 schools that are left as opposed to BYU, Houston, Cincy, etc. So, either way, um, if you are the Pac-12, do you go and get Boise and San Diego State or Fresno or whoever from the Mountain West? Do you try and add schools so that you can also be a 16-team league? Like, try and get up to that number with teams that are somewhat valuable and maybe a bigger, because they've always vouched for the Olympic sports, etc., which this is another interesting part of that. Like, what are you going to do with these Olympic sports, sending them all the way over to the East Coast? I mean, I I don't know how this is going to work. But um, if you don't add Boise and San Diego State, et cetera, whoever from the Mountain West, if you don't get those teams, do you try and partner with the Big 12? Do you join a, a, like, make it a super conference by joining those two conferences together? Because Chris and I have said, and, and I've been pushing more so than Chris, I believe, I think that we are headed to four super conferences. Now, it may just be two. I may be completely wrong. But we've seen this in FCS, et cetera, where you've got like a 24-team league, and yes, it got crazy, and it's not a 24-team league anymore. I think it was the WAC that did this uh, in FCS football. I mean, they had 24 teams in one conference. It's not out of the realm of possibilities. But I will say that by joining up all of these you hate to call them rejects, but these are the teams that the other big conferences did not want, right? Your Washington, Oregon, Stanford, Colorado, Utah, uh, the Arizona schools, your Oklahoma State, TCU, et cetera, right? Kansas, Kansas State, West Virginia, whatever. You partner all of those together, and you've got some interesting matchups. You've got something that you can sell for TV inventory, and it could possibly bring you some pretty decent revenue. Would ESPN or Fox or whoever be willing to pay a pretty decent price to where you can get back up with these schools to what you had been making? right? Because then those networks don't have to give out big deals to individual conferences. They just got to give one big one to a big 20-something team conference. Uh, the way that it's set up right now, once Texas and Oklahoma leave, The Big 12 is going to have 12 teams. And then the Pac-12 right now stands at 10. So you would have 22 teams. Maybe add two more. You get up to 24, a nice round number. You get uh, eight team division, three, eight team division. I don't know how you would do it. But regardless, this is very intriguing to me. How they go forward Next, like what is the next step for the Pac-12 after this? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.